Hello guys, this is Al from Open Source Channel. Welcome to a new episode. Today we're going to have a look at C file. We're going to look at how to install C file on Docker. This is a request from one of the subscribers. He said that he wanted to install it using Portainer. He didn't look around, but some people prefer to install it in a totally different way using Docker Compose, for example. But he really wanted to use Portainer. He did find, he said, one of a YouTuber who was, you know, showing up. But apparently they had a problem installing some kind of error. He didn't know which one it was. But again, I didn't do a search, to be honest with you. But I did have a look. And after I had a look, to be honest with you, I did find some information. And I think this is the way most people will install it much easier faster to be honest with you rather than using portainer but again the subscriber wanted to uh, he didn't leave the name he just you know uh, just email me and here we go if you're listening this is uh you know i'm going to show you how to do it um so technically this is what i will use if it was me if i wanted the default admin account if I want to state my own admin account, I will use this in, you know, using Compose, right? Um, again, no YAML file, just use this, uh, run as sudo docker run, and that's it. That's all I will do, okay? But um, let's go back on this file here. Here we go. This is what I could find. And apparently this is what this YouTuber was using, and he had some kind of issues now there is a problem as you can see i already highlighted it so let's go back to portainer and let's go back here and let's go back to stacks where i created my stack go to uh, c file i'm going to editor and as you can see everything looks the same all right in fact i didn't even change this on purpose all i done is add my host name okay that's all I changed in here. And of course, the version. On Somehow, version 2 gave me error. It says um, just error, no specific error, nothing at all. And again, I didn't know the reason why. Then I done a couple of research and I found out by changing the type of version, because some of the environment requires version 3 and above. So I tried it and here we go, it works. Now, if I go back to container, as you can see, it creates three containers, right? That is C file, memcache, and MySQL. Here is the container log view. And as you can see, everything was set properly. And here, let's go back to C file. I'm accessing via the IP. And as you can see here, I'm accessing it via the domain name. To get access, all I got to do, uh, let's go back on, well, I can go back here, really. And I'm going to do a copy, copy that. And also there is one here. It doesn't really matter where you're going to copy, as long as you copy it. So I didn't, uh, you know, I didn't change it on purpose. I just wanted to do it as it was, because I didn't know what this youtuber did so as you can see now i am in and i can actually access with ssl as well that's not a problem again i'm using nginx proxy manager okay that is the one okay and that's why i'm doing it okay that's as simple as that then uh, i'm using cloudfer to redirect to my ip 555.111 again this is a fake one uh, because last time I, you know, stupidly, you know, stupid my side, I showed my IP and people start bombarding. I have to call my provider to change it. But anyway, now I learned and again, 555, try that one, it will work. But anyway, guys, this is the way you do it. And as you can go see, I got a C name for docs. And that's the reason why I get this, okay? Don't forget to redirect that via your modem or router, whatever you're using, okay? with the uh, relevant port the ports are uh in this case let me go back to protein let me go back to containers 
um, CIFAR AUGO 8010-4443. This is what I'm using again. I already used 40 and already was using 443. So double four, double three. Yeah. So I have to put an extra four there just to make a difference. Now, if you install it the same way I did, don't forget you got to go here. You go to system admin. First, the first thing you do, all right. Now make sure that the service URL is the correct one. Again, you can change that to HTTPS if you want. I got automatically done, all right, via Nginx, but it's up to you. You want you can try it. And then users, you want to create a new user, okay? You want to make sure it's an admin, and then you delete this one here. Or you can. I'm not sure actually if you can actually. Uh, this is active. That's the quarter, I believe. No, I don't think you can actually edit the um, the user. So technically, all you got to do is create a new admin and delete this admin, okay? So make sure you create the admin and then delete this admin. That's important. Now, if you don't want to do that, that's very simple. Let's go back on the C file. This one here. Make sure, make sure you change this and this okay now it's up to you if you want to use uh let's encrypt using the script here or like i do you can use an nginx proxy manager or you can choose to uh, to use it cloudflare now i choose cloudflare now it's up to you as you want to do it okay you got multiple choices now let's go back to logically on this one because that's what you want to see Let's go back to stacks. Uh, perhaps I'll, no, let me remove that. Let's go back here. Let's go to C file. Let's go back on the editor. And as you can see, three is the only one, you know, the only thing I changed, plus, of course, my URL. Okay. The rest is exactly the same. All the information is in the description below. All right. Where you can actually copy and paste. Again, don't forget to change that to three. And don't forget to change this. Okay, that's important. Apart from that, it's very simple. You go to stacks, you create a new stack, you name it the stack, and you paste the code in. Let me go here again. So I'm going to show you. Copy that. We're going to change that to, to three. I think I made a mistake to tell you. Um, yeah, no, I did remove that actually. And I changed the ports, unless you already got, you know, some ports. Again, you know, it's up to you. Then change this if you want to, right? Those two lines here, the admin and the password. If you don't want to do it the way I told you, and don't forget to change the host name. Once you're happy with that, all you got to do is deploy stack. I didn't put the name here, so let's put something. So what's the name, uh, the problem? Your name is already, uh, no, it's not used. So it looks like it's already been used. So anyway, I'm not going to leave it as it is. But anyway, that's what you do. Eh? And you just press deploy uh, the stack. This is as simple as that, really, guys. And once you wait a little bit longer, it's good. it takes a little bit of time, to be honest. I don't know why it did take time. And once you, you know, once everything's done, you want to go to the containers. Um, I'm going to cancel that. Say yes. Go containers. If you go to C file. I'm going here and just wait until it tells you done. Okay. As you can see here. When that's done, all you got to do, you go back to containers and you just press on the IP. You know, in this case, it will be this one here. And as you can see, well, it will take you to the login page. And that's it. That's as simple as. And again, guys, if you want to know how to use this, this is kind of a cloud based uh, file service like Dropbox, I believe some people says it is. I never used it to be honest, but it, it's simple to use. There's a loads of, of application that you can actually um, run with it. I think like uh, file um, based, um, can you remember if it's something to do with, um, I don't think you can do FTP on this one, but there are some third party application, but somebody told me that you can actually use um, their own Android, for example, um, app. I don't know if it is for iOS. I presume maybe, maybe it is. Let's go to download and have, let's have a look. You got clients, Windows, Mac, and then we got 
Here we go. On iPhone and iPad as well and Android. Yeah. So yeah, but I know they work with the third party as well application. I'm not sure. Someone told me, but um, I have. As I said, guys, I haven't done much research on this. All I done just uh, done a little bit on how to make sure the this code would work with Portana. That's all I looked into it, really. Now, if you want me to have a look a little bit more, I will do more research and I'll do another um, tutorial to show you how to use it, okay? But again, guys, since, thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and uh, I'll see you next time.